On echocardiography, evaluating for diastolic function, we also must assess for systolic function. So the diastolic function is the relaxation of the heart and the myocardium, which occurs during diastole. And we measure the left ventricular internal dimension in diastole immediately after the mitral valve closure. End diastole is defined as the onset of the QRS. However, it's preferably as the frame immediately following mitral valve closure or the frame during the cardiac cycle in which the cardiac dimension is the largest. Systolic function is the squeezing action of the ventricle, which occurs during systole. So that left ventricular internal dimension in systole is measured immediately before the mitral valve opening. And end systole by echocardiography is best defined as the frame preceding mitral valve opening or the time in the cardiac cycle at which the cardiac dimension is the smallest in the normal heart. As the left ventricle volume increases throughout diastole, this enables the increased ejection fraction and the cardiac output that takes place during systolic function. The diastolic filling from the left atrium into the left ventricle involves that rapid filling phase, and this is where the ventricles continue to relax at the end of isovolumetric relaxation, which is phase five, and the pressures fall below the atrial pressure. So when that occurs, those atrioventricular valves open rapidly, and then the passive ventricular filling begins. And then reduced filling, phase seven, takes place where the ventricle is about 90% filled by the end of that phase. 